I got it. What the? Who are they? Oh, all right, guys, don't worry. I'll handle this. This is your first time coming across my channel. Please stay for the entire video. And if you enjoy the content, don't hesitate to subscribe. I hope everyone is having a blessed morning. I'm up early, guys, because I'm very, very excited about the video that I'm about to present to you guys today. I put a lot of work into this video, and I hope that you guys really enjoy it. I must admit that it is rather long, so I would suggest that you tune into this video when you don't have anything to do so you can give it your full attention because I will be discussing some very interesting topics today. To all of my day one butterflies, thank you so much for all of your love and support. And to all of my newcomers, welcome to the channel. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support as well. Guys, as you can tell by the title, I will be discussing part two of being replaced by doppelgangers. And today I will be discussing the various types of doppelgangers, Capgrass syndrome, and family replacement. Before I get into this video, guys, I would like to give a shout out to my credible sources, Critical Role Random, I'm sorry, Critical Role Fandom.com, USAToday.com, WebMD.com, OpenBibleInfo.com, and TikTok. Guys, in part one, I discussed the, hip, the history of doppelgangers and how they frame their counterparts. I will be diving a little deeper into the origin of doppelgangers in this video, guys. I will also be discussing the various types of doppelgangers, how and why they replace our loved ones and family gang stalking. Guys, doppelgangers are defined as being a mysterious, biologically unrelated lookalike. They are more than what meets the eye. They're also known for their mind reading and shape shifting abilities that enables them to morph into any humanoid creature. According to research, they are humanoid monstrosities, meaning that they're half human, half creature. They operate in a lazy yet deceptive manner. They're also self-centered and narcissistic in personality. Guys, this is a reason for the saying of them being harbingers of bad luck. Because when doppelgangers come in contact or have an encounter with someone they find appealing in appearance and lifestyle, they begin to spy on and monitor that person in order to know everything there is to know about them. And once they've gained enough knowledge about their target, they will use their skills in order to track and, and eliminate them as a result of assuming the target's life. And guys... I mean on contact. I don't mean trying to have a full conversation with the person or let's just say they will do all of those things beforehand. But once they're in full contact with their target, they cut right to the chase. They have a very destructive manner once they're in contact with their counterpart. Now, guys, I just described the characteristics of one type of doppelganger. There are various types, each possessing mind reading and shape shifting abilities. Each one carries a unique skill. Doppelgangers also have limitations to these abilities. And this is in accordance to the rules of their species. One type that I'm about to discuss now, guys, is the hybrid doppelganger doppelganger and this is a mix between a human and a doppelganger 
unlike pure doppelgangers, they have a natural gender form and limited shape-shifting abilities. Now, this enables them to be particularly used and suitable for spying and criminal activity purposes. As with the situation in part one, where the guy was actually framed by his doppelganger. Now, in their true spiritual form, they stand about six feet tall, gray featherless skin, white blank eyes, and white hair as well. They also have distinctive fe features of a human with very with a very small nose and mouth. Now, guys, that brings me to discuss another type of doppelganger, which is pretty much unlike the rest, and this is the mimic doppelganger. Now, these are weird alien-like beings that can shapeshift into ordinary furniture and household objects. They have the ability to, dis to assume the form for days. And this is in order to wait for an encounter with their unsuspected victim. And once their victim comes in physical contact by touching the mimic, the aberration comes to life opening its large mouth and consuming its target before they can escape. Now, guys, there's a, a story of someone who, in my opinion, was an alleged victim of mimicking. Check this clip out, guys, and I'll be right back. I want to talk to you guys about 36-year-old Lacey. She lived with both of her parents. Um, after ninth grade, she was put into a homeschool program and no longer attended school. Um, she had what they said was a form of Asperger's, but other than that, she just suffered social anxiety. Her parents, her main caretakers, did not take her to see a doctor in over 20 years, they said. Um, on January 3rd, apparently, the mother called 911 and said that the daughter passed away on the couch. So when they went in, um, they said the smell was horrific. Um, the coroner described it as the worst case of neglect he's ever seen. Um, she was about 96 pounds. She also tested positive for COVID-19. They said she was suffering from locked-in syndrome, which is a rare neurological condition where you have complete par paralysis of all your voluntary muscles except your eyes. So she knew what was going on and was aware at some point, but just couldn't do anything to help herself. Um, her parents said at one point they debated on getting her into a facility, but never did. So the neighbors um, said they have not seen her come out within five to six years. They asked about her and they said she was fine. The mom did try to say that the daughter did just pass the night before she was alive and well. They said that she just stopped eating last fall, like she didn't like to eat and that's why she was so skinny. Um, she was so stuck to the couch that she had ulcers that were rotten to the bone to the couch. Um, all of her waist, maggots, it was extremely gruesome. They said, that the coroner was throwing up and he could not eat for a week. I mean, I, as a coroner, you see this often, but not this bad. This, this poor woman was victimized by her own parents and they were just taking pictures and posting them on Facebook as if everything was fine. This case breaks my heart. This, she was not given the chance for a normal life. And I truly hope she's at peace now. But the mom was a town alderman, which is like an elected official by the residents. She resigned in February, about a month after her daughter passed. I'm sure because she, she got wind of the investigation. Um, it's just, it's a really, really tragic case. And their statement, the attorney's statement as to why they didn't, you know, say anything or do something sooner is that they didn't want to relive the death of their child in the media and that any parent who's lost a child should understand. Now, guys, as you can see in that clip, it was about a 36-year-old woman who suffered from autism and was neglected by her family. Now, many who experience mimic doppelganging usually immediately begin to suffer from locked-in syndrome, which was mentioned in the video clip. It's a neurological disorder that occurs when the rest of the body is in a paralyzed state and you're only able to move your eyes. Now it is possible her family was replaced by doppelgangers, which could be the reason for their sinister behavior. 
not properly caring for their autistic daughter, leaving her body there to decompose. She could have possibly been annihilated by a mimicking doppelganger. The one type only to shapeshift into mundane furniture and household object, objects, posing as the family's couch, waiting for the right time to attack. Now, all of this information that I am presenting to you guys is alleged. The upright position in which she was found and also in an obvious state of shock, being diagnosed with the neurological disorder and all, it's, you know, it's obvious that she witnessed some sort of paranormal activity. And guys, I know some of these things sound far-fetched, but it is most certainly true. These things are really happening. Don't, don't forget there is a spiritual realm and there are a lot of things that manifest into the physical from things that take place in the spiritual. That brings me to talk about my last but not least type of doppelganger and they are called changelings. There's a historic folklore associated with these type of doppelgangers. These creatures are also referred to as an oaf, which is a human-like creature that was said to be a fairy that was left in place of a child who was kidnapped by fairies. The kidnapped child, in this case, which was the target, escapes and finds out they're no longer human, fae, or an elven. In fairy time, your loved ones may have already passed away but you feel that you've only been gone a few months or years they have the ability to shape shift into another doppelganger race in are ghostly pale in their true form all types of doppelgangers are used by sinister people guys all over the world and they're used to serve as spies and assassins they are consistently being used by handlers to gain stock and destroy their targets. Now guys, with their ability to morph into their desired counterparts and as in with mimicking furniture and household objects, they also have the skill to read the thoughts of their targets within 60 feet. And this gives them the advantage to imitate, influence, and deceive many, especially when they're paired with gain stalking tactics instructed by a chief handler. And guys, for this for these reasons, people are afraid of them because they are known to be sinister, evil beings who has the ability to destroy you on sight. And many believe their family members have been replaced by doppelgangers. And this is said to be a rare condition called Capgrass Syndrome. This syndrome is named after Joseph Capgrass, a French psychiatrist who diagnosed and treated a woman over 100 years ago when she believed that her husband and other family members had been replaced by someone else. This is when it became a known syndrome describing the illusion of seeing your family member be behave in a manner that you are almost certain they have been replaced by someone else. Check this clip out guys and I'll be right back. Capgras delusion. This is a psychiatric condition where a person has the delusion that their friend or family has been replaced by an identical imposter. It's usually as a result of schizophrenia, but can occur because of dementia or brain injuries. Treatment is generally therapy and antipsychotic medication. Syndromes that you may not know. Capgras syndrome, also known as Capgras delusion, is a psychological disorder characterized by a belief that a person or people close to the individual have been replaced by identical looking imposters or doubles. This condition often occurs in individuals with underlying psychiatric or neurological disorders, 
such as schizophrenia or dementia. People with Capgras syndrome may experience a sense of detachment or alienation from their loved ones, despite recognizing their physical appearance. The exact cause of Capgras syndrome is not fully understood, but it is believed to involve a disruption in the brain's ability to process and recognize familiar faces. Treatment typically involves a combination of therapy and medication to address the underlying condition and manage the symptoms. The exact cause of Capgras syndrome is not fully understood, but it is believed to involve a disruption in the brain's ability to process and recognize familiar faces. Treatment typically involves a combination of psychotherapy and medication to address the underlying condition and manage the symptoms. There is something that stays around me that mimics my husband. It mimics his looks and his voice. I see this thing every so often. Um, most recently, I had a full conversation with it about ice cream. That story's somewhere on my page if you want it, but I had a really bad experience last night. I've caught this thing on camera. I've had full conversations with it. I've seen it in reflections of things. This is the scariest experience that I've ever had with it. I don't know why this one scared me so bad, but let's get into it. So last night, my husband left to go to the gym and he left wearing like black basketball shorts and a black shirt. So he's gone, he's like 40 minutes in, I think at this point, and I hear a door open and shut downstairs, followed by another door opening and shutting like he's putting his shoes in the coat closet. A few minutes pass, I wait for him to come up. I register that it's weird because he always calls me on his way home and he didn't, but I was like, oh, maybe he forgot or something like that. So a few minutes pass and he has not come upstairs. And not only that, I am hearing the opening and shutting of those doors again. More time passes, I hear the doors one more time and I check his location because we share it on that find my iPhone thing. It shows his location at the house. So I'm like, okay, maybe he's just doing stuff downstairs. I don't know, maybe he's like doing the surprise for me because he randomly does that. More time passes, I check his location again because at this point I'm like, is he outside? Because it's kind of showing that he's beside our house instead of in it. So I'm like, did his phone like die and he's trying to get in the house and that's what the knocking is? And at this point, my brain is like, did someone break into your house? Because it's nighttime. So at the risk of it being a break in because I'm hearing these noises, I decide to just call him. And when he answers and I hear gym noises in the background, my heart sinks. Tell him what's going on. I'm like, I thought you were downstairs. I think someone's in the house. Should I call 911? By the time I finish the sentence, this man is already out the door of the gym. And I check his location out of curiosity and it is now saying he's at the gym. It's not saying he's here anymore. He's like, lock the door of the bedroom, stay in there. I am on my way. So whenever he gets here, he says he's pulling into the parking lot of our apartments and the phone goes. So I wait upstairs until I hear the door open. And then I come out of the bedroom and come downstairs. As I go around the curve of our stairs, I see my husband walk by the stairs. He didn't address me, but I assume he's just checking the house. So I call for him, still nothing. I come down the stairs and I look to my left and see him coming around the corner to this area that I'm in, in the kitchen. And I'm like, why isn't he speaking to me at this point? So I start walking, I'm in my dining room and I hear the keys turn in the door behind me. I turn around and come face to face with my husband who is walking in the front door behind me. He was not in the kitchen, he was not in the house yet. So he comes in, checks the house, everything's fine. All the doors were locked, all the windows were locked and shut. He was like, I told you to stay in the bedroom until I got inside, what are you doing? And I was like, you were, you were in here, like I, I saw you. So now he's freaked out. We go to bed feeling weird, the house feels weird, everything just feels gross. And I wake up to this this morning. Keep in mind, I have mentioned nothing on TikTok about this. I've mentioned nothing to no one about this other than my husband. But I am met with this comment. I'm feeling the doppelganger through this video. Be careful this week. And they have been right about a lot of the things that they have sensed in my videos and that I have seen and just not said anything. So this sent absolute chills down my spine. Because I filmed the video that they commented that on right here, right where that doppelganger or mimic ended up coming. Like this is where they walked to. So not only did I acknowledge this thing and call for it, I followed it. And I don't want to know what would have happened if I had ended up in the kitchen, cornered. I'm so sorry this video was so long. Um, I'm just not, I, I'm just scared. 
I also had another really, really bad experience happen a few days ago, and I'm still trying to decide if I want to share that one. If I do, it'll be this weekend because I'm trying to let the energy go away from it. But it's just, it's been a lot. A lot has been going on. Now guys, those clips are examples of how targets are allegedly labeled when they speak truth. Being harassed by family members and friends, even partners, begin to move different. And you notice it. They may give you funny looks and stares. They may monitor and follow you. They may display abnormal behavior, body gestures. They may repeat taunting phrases pertaining to things that you've went through in your life that you've overcome they may also try and set you up in some sort of criminal activity scheme such as street theater they may become destructive and ill-natured they may even become physically and verbally abusive. Now, guys, they monitor and spy family members, the doppelgangers, and when they catch them in their most vulnerable state, they attack them. This and this is more like when the body is in a relaxing state, such as sleeping under some sort of anesthesia when undergoing a surgery or some sort of other medical procedure, or any time the person is alone. Now, there's two reasons these things take place. In order to assume your family member's life, because they see it to be stable. Because remember, doppelgangers have never lived a life of their own. They live stolen lives. Or they're trying to get close to the target. And as a targeted individual, they will try and replace you in order to carry out a sinister plan under your identity. And the sad truth about this situation, guys, is... The good people are replaced with an evil double, and if not destroyed by their doppelganger, they may have to possibly suffer the consequences of their evil, evil double's actions. The myths and real life events behind doppelgangers has led many to demonstrate some demonic behavior, guys. And... I'm going to show you guys some clips of how real uh, like real life examples of how family members can be replaced by doppelgangers for various reasons, but they're all evil, deceptive, and selfish. I'm going to show you guys a clip about a 23-year-old woman who allegedly annihilated her look-alike to fake her own demise. Check this out, guys, and I'll be right back. Today, I'm going to be covering the case of the doppelganger murder where Khadija was murdered by 23-year-old Sherabon. It is wild, so let's dive into it. So Sherabon had come up with this plot to murder her look-alike, and she went through Instagram and messaged multiple women under an alias account she was reaching out to these women and offering them beauty products, and unfortunately, it was Khadija who unknowingly fell into this plot. She was ultimately picked up by Sherabon and her boyfriend and lured into a wooded area in Germany. Sherabon ended up stabbing Khadija more than 50 times. Multiple were to the face, so her face was disfigured. Her body was left in the backseat of Sherabon's car, and Sherabon's boyfriend was in on the plot, so the both of them went into hiding immediately after. 
Khadija's body was found on August 16th of the year 2022. Now, the plate of the car was Sharaban's because it was Sharaban's car, and it was parked where it could easily be found, like they wanted the car to be found. The car was ultimately found by Sharaban's parents in South Germany. Police at first assumed that Sharaban was the victim because some of her family members had identified her body. So it wasn't until the autopsy was done that it was proven otherwise. Sharaban's plot to fake her own death was found out pretty quickly, and on August 19th of 2022, she was detained. Investigations into the case have shown that maybe she wanted to fake her own death due to family disputes that were going on. The pair do face life sentences if convicted. As usual, I want to know what you guys think. Share, like this video, leave a comment for future cases to cover, and as usual, I will see you guys in my next one. Guys, there's so many dark events that take place once the doppelganger targets their prey. Now, in this particular case, Sharabin K was the hybrid doppelganger. She searched for someone who resembled her in order to fake her own demise. She spied on her target. She monitored their life through social media. She used her skills of deception to lure her target in, and she committed a heartless crime for her own selfish desires. The desire to take on a new life, the life of someone else, which is really sad and unfortunate. Now guys, family gang stalking is probably more frightening to experience than any other form of gang stalking. It is one thing to be deceived by friends and relationships or even strangers, but when it's your family, it takes a different toll on you as the target. Now, handlers have particular ways of dealing with their victims depending on the situation. If the target is in isolation due to heavy persecution from family members and others in their community, they still may experience heavy gain stalking from their neighbors and coworkers. Now, if the target has a relationship with their family, or if not, but still in close proximity to them, the handler was sending a doppelganger or hybrid doppelganger to replace a family member. And this is in order to eliminate the handler's main target. Now guys, there are several movies and one recent would, um, to my knowledge, would be the 2019 mo movie Us, where the family was being attacked by their doppelgangers in or and they were trying to take their lives and replace them. And guys, these directors don't just always come up with these ideas out of the blue. A lot of these things, if not all, are stemmed from something that has already or is still taking place. Now, the doppelganger's strange behavior after replacing a family member, even supernaturally displaying shape-shifting and mind-reading abilities, this leads the target to believe their loved one or loved ones are not being themselves. Now, Capgrass Syndrome causes the target to become wrapped up in their sanity. You know, it, it be, they begin so wrapped up in trying to defend their sanity to others because they too, you know, and other family members, friends, partner, and partners could be hired gang stalkers or doppelgangers themselves. So the target begins to feel like they are in a remake of the Truman Show. It's like everyone is behaving like robots auditioning for a TV commercial. And it's like everyone's sharing a secret and you as the target are the only one who doesn't know what it is. And since the doppelganger does possess mind reading abilities, they can track every move of their victim allowing them to know their victim's strengths, weaknesses, these dislikes, and desires. 
Now, this helps assist them when orchestrating a plan to attack. And in the case of 23-year-old Sharabin K, she had an accomplice. Now, guys, this all depends on what information they've gathered on the person. And this is in accordance to how they will replace them as well. The, the target is lured in by a deceptive friend or social media invite. They could undergo a surgery, cosmetic or medical, be replaced by a doppelganger when morphed into the original physician that's performing the surgery and then morphed into the loved one once they're eliminated. And it can be through anesthesia or any other sinister way. They could also be gang stalked to the point that they may question their sanity or have it questioned by other loved ones and get admitted into a mental institution, undergo heavy meds, which is that would be their vulnerable position, become annihilated by their doppelganger and leave the facility as someone else. They could be also they could become attacked by mimicking aberrations formed into a loved one's bed. You know, when they're, and this is when they're at, in their vulnerable state, when they're sleeping or, or resting, and consume them. Now, since these actions surround a more supernatural concept, many find these things hard to believe. And the ones who do are labeled insane. Now, guys, these entities can appear in more than one place at a time. You may have found yourself, if you've ever had an experience with a doppelganger, you could you may have found yourself asking a family member, I thought you were just in the kitchen, or I thought I just saw you coming out of the bedroom. Or it looked like, you know, it looked just like your loved ones. So there's no way to tell until they begin to act strangely. Check this clip out, guys, and I'll be right back. True story, I freaked myself out making this video. After I made it, I had to go back to my workplace and I had to let this guy out who was cleaning the floor. I walked through the store in the dark and I was so scared because I thought that another version of me was going to jump out and try to unalive me. This man is about to experience the doppelganger of his daughter and it's not gonna go down how you think it is. Check it out. Have you decided what floor of Michigan am I so? Hey! Bridge! Freezing! Freeze me that way, freeze me this way. Bloody hell. I never really understood doppelgangers, because spirits and demons are unable to emulate human form. They could get it close, but it's off just enough to where you can tell, but a doppelganger, it would have to be perfect. And watching this, it looks like it's almost being projected to this man. That makes a little more sense. I don't know, what do you guys think? guys after all of my study research and summarizing I realized that 
All of these things that are taking place are strategies used in the enemy's game of chess. Targeting individuals who carry God's light. And he works overtime to re try and replace them with darkness. Or try and replace their life with darkness. To complete them from carrying God's mission. And that is spreading the truth, salvation, and light of the Most High God. Guys, you also know that we are in the generation of cloning. MK Ultra Mind Control System. One World Orders. Like robots. Everything's robotic. Everyone's behaving, acting, looking the same. They are mad at anyone who expresses the truth and shed light on dark situations that they want to keep covered for their own selfish reasons. They want you to keep silent and become desensitized to dark agendas our generation is pushing. And the new world that we live in consists of lies and deceit and plastic. When I mean plastic, I mean it seems that everything is watered down, fake, you know, artificial, ingenuine. And if you aim to stay true to you and follow God, you are most certainly a target. And and there are several ad agendas being pushed, several dark agendas, but it all boils down to one thing. The enemies plan to destroy mankind. And let's let's talk about what the Most High says about the new world. Daniel chapter 7 verse 23 says, Thus he said, As for the fourth beast, there shall be a fourth kingdom on earth, which shall be different from all the kingdoms, and it shall devour the whole earth and trample it down and break it to pieces. All the things that has happened over the years, you will most certainly come to terms that the enemy is out to destroy everyone on this planet. And he is. And when some, you know, when a lot of people come to terms with that, it will eliminate them from pushing the enemy's agendas. This also has a lot to do with the mark of the beast and just staying in tune with it's. There's there's different purposes of the enemy and there's different plans and tactics that are being played out in order to keep the things going or to attempt to put them into action. And I feel that as children of God, we have to stay on top of these things so we can protect ourselves and our loved ones. And how do we do that? Well, number one is through strong prayer and relationship with the Most High. Staying in the Word is one of our strongest weapons ever during the spiritual warfare. And another strong weapon is discernment. Discernment, discernment, discernment. I cannot express this enough. Discernment, strong discernment will stop a lot of things from happening with innocent people who are being lured in by dark agents. First John chapter four, verse one says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. 
You cannot believe what comes out of everyone's mouth. Just because someone looks innocent, they're smiling, they're behaving nicely, it does not mean that that's who they really are. There are so many people that put on a mask in order to get what they want every single day. And many times, once they get what they want, or if they don't get what they want, the mask comes off. And when these masks come off, and these people show you who they really are, you have to believe it. You have to. Whether you want to believe it or not. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. We have to stay in the word because the word is our weapon against evil. The word of God is the truth and the light and we must know it in order to fight against darkness because there's so many deceiving spirits out here that will lead you to believe that they're genuine and once they have lured you in the mask is off we cannot be of this world because being of this world which includes trusting people and not using discernment can lead us to destruction Romans chapter 12, verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. There's so many innocent people out here that if they would have used their discernment, they would have not met their demise by the hands of the enemy. Always remember that he cannot be in one place at more than one place at one time. So he has agents that can because he has many legions. And he has a kingdom. And he has agents that report back to that kingdom with information about people like us that carry God's light, that is trying to walk with God, that is trying to do the right thing. Not perfect, but trying to do the right thing. Always remember, the enemy is always watching. Always, guys. Okay? I hope that this video helped someone. I love all of my supporters and I want you guys to be safe. I want you guys to not think with your heart, but with the Holy Spirit. Pray for discernment strong discernment um guys i have been last week i meditated on two bible verses which was psalms 31 and psalms 91 i don't know if i mentioned in the last video but if i didn't i'm gonna i'm mentioning it in this one if i'm not mistaking the video before the last one I posted, I posted a link in the description for you guys. Um, it was uh, to two YouTube videos with those two prayers. If I didn't, I'm going to post them in this video down in the description box below. I want you guys to meditate on those prayers day and night for seven days. Right now, I'm meditating on Psalms 13, and I'm going to do Psalms 95. 
Pray before you do everything. Pray when you wake up. Pray when you go to sleep. Pray before you eat. Pray before you go out and about on your day. Pray when you come back in. You know, thank the Lord for everything that he does. We want him to stay in our lives at all times because at any time we get consumed by this world, there's always a chance for the enemy to slip in. Have a lot of great content coming to you guys. I'm working hard trying to keep the algorithm going, keep you guys interested in the content. I really appreciate you guys um, showing love and support. I really would appreciate it if you guys would hit the like button. And also, I have... What was I about to say to you guys? Because I, I never just... That's why I'm going to do a rant tomorrow. Because I never just... I just want to take the time to just, you know, just talk to you guys about just random random things, you know? So, we're going to discuss all that in tomorrow's rant, all right? I love you guys so much. And until the next video, peace and blessings. Mwah.